Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Austin with Baranoff Fishing Excursions in the Alaska Fish House. And today we're gonna to be cooking giant Pacific octopus. You may think that while you're fishing with us, this wouldn't be something you see, but you'd actually be surprised. Our guide, uh, Chris, was fishing the other day with his guests, bottom fishing for halibut, and they actually caught this octopus on a line. You can also see these sometimes in your shrimp pots where they like to squeeze in and eat the shrimp that you're trying to catch. So today I'm going to show you how we prepare it in the restaurant. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a pot of water on. We have a good rolling boil and I'm going to salt it pretty heavily. And what we're going to do is dip this octopus into the boiling water three times. And why we do that? I couldn't exactly tell you. There's a million ways to cook octopus. This is how I was trained. It works well. It gets the, the cooking process started and it starts to curl up and get it into that beautiful shape that you want. And you can see the color will start to change and it's gonna start to curl up. ready to go. We've taken the octopus arm, we've dipped it in boiling water three times, and we're gonna put it in our braising liquid. So we're gonna take the arm of the octopus, and to that, we're gonna add a little bit of red wine vinegar. a Little bit of peppercorn, chili flake. You can use whatever spice you like gonna add some smashed garlic cloves. Shell it on is fine. A little bit of thyme, bay leaf, rosemary, a little bit of lemon rind. I've taken the inside out just to remove some of the bitterness. A little bit of shallot. Again, some more seasoning. Olive oil. And to that, I'm gonna add some water that I already have uh, hot. It's not boiling, but it helps speed up the process. So I'm gonna do enough to cover the octopus. You can already smell all those aromatics, the thyme, the rosemary, even the lemon starting to come through. So this poaching liquid or braising liquid is ready to go. I like to do this in the oven with the lid on. It's more of a controlled environment. If you like, you can do it on the stove and slowly simmer it all day. I like to put a lid on it, put it in the oven. So that's what we're gonna do. About 300 degrees. We're gonna check this after one hour and see where we're at. So we're gonna take the octopus out now. We checked it after an hour. It was still a little firm. It's been an hour and a half and we're gonna see how it is. I'm gonna gently take the octopus and find the thicker end and test it with a skewer and you can see it easily goes in. So we're ready to go. What I'm gonna do is take this out of the liquid and let it slightly cool. And now what we're gonna do is remove a little bit of the skin. I don't wanna remove it all. Some people like to remove all of the skin. Um, I actually like how crispy it gets, but a lot of it um, in the cooking process will fall off. Um, and that's kinda these stringy pieces right here, um, which I do like to remove, um, but on the top, on the suckers there, I like to keep that on there. I love the color, it adds more flavor. And then while it's still warm, we're gonna put it into a marinade similar to what we use in our cooking liquid. So we have some garlic, fresh thyme, a little bit of chiffonade, lemon zest, whatever you have on hand, whatever flavors you prefer. Um, so as it cools, it's gonna soak up this marinade and it's gonna be ready for the grill. I'm going to do it in a cast iron grill pan and I'm going to try to get some of the excess oil off of the octopus before I put it in because uh, you'll see that I'm not gonna put any oil in the pan. If I pre-oil the pan, I'll put it in, it'll start to sizzle, but all that moisture and everything is gonna almost steam it and, and we want a good solid char on the octopus. All right, so it's been about two minutes, high, high, high heat, and we're gonna flip the octopus over and char the other side as well.
And again, if you want to keep flipping back and forth, you absolutely can if you want to achieve more char on, on any part of the octopus. So I'm going to actually move it back to the marinade, plate it, and then drizzle a little bit more of that marinade onto it. This is just going to, this extra step is just going to really beautifully coat the whole octopus. Choose what side you like as far as your presentation side. Both sides look really nice. In this case, I, I like the grill marks. Some of this on top. Again, lemon, olive oil, some crushed garlic, herbs, thyme, some lemon zest. Let's have a taste. Looks really nice. It's really, really good. It has um, the char is such a nice addition to the octopus. The, the texture is, it's soft, but slightly firm, so similar to lobster. The meat itself is a, a white meat. It has a similar taste, like I said, to the lobster, but it, um, it's sweet as well. The octopus actually eats uh, the spot prawns that are local here, as well as crabs. So um, it's getting some of that sweetness in its diet. So it really comes through. Um, we like this uh, just simple with the olive oil, the marinade, the lemon, the fresh herbs. Uh, really nice way to prepare this. You can slice it if you like, leave it whole, but this is a, a beautiful addition to, to any menu tasting. So if you're lucky enough to catch one of these Pacific octopus while fishing with us, I'd love to prepare it for you. And to see more unique species that we cook, check out exclusivealaska.com.